Hey guys, Ran here, and today we're bringing you a replay in the Bellerophon Centurion. Again, slowly starting to become one of my favourite tanks, although I am biased towards Centurion tanks and I do like them. Um, but the extra armour on this really feel comfortable playing a lot more aggressive. I'm going to be on Vineyard, it's going to be a tier 9 game, and I'm going to be platooned with a fellow pleb member who I do not believe I've ever uploaded a video of me playing with before, and that's Terenzi, I believe his name. It's pronounced... And during this place we were going through, he was trying to 3-mark his Draugon. So I just joined him to have a couple of gameplays trying to do that. Now, Vineyard being Vineyards and me being in a medium tank, I'm actually going to head up north on this map to the field. Want to keep a nice open engage where I can use my view range, I can go hold down. Bear in mind there are two artillery. Um... And what's actually happening here is I'm looking at the team right now um, and where they're going. And the other thing is, I do have to admit, um, as I'm looking at the team, I may also be trying to type a message on my phone. So, you know, don't text and drive because I've started this game going the complete wrong direction while I'm trying to message someone about World of the Tanks. Uh, say, someone me messaged to play with me, and I was just saying, I'm in a platoon playing tier 8, so... Um, you know how it is. Um, so now that i finished texting and driving, I'm going to turn around and start heading to the field. <laughs> so, Terenzi's already heading over there, a light tank, I believe, or maybe... Um, on a medium or heavy, he's going over there. See, the thing is, on this, like, new screen I'm using, I can barely see. That might not be a light, I could be a TD in the field. But either way, we're going to head up north. And the, the crazy thing for me so far is that Teredi hadn't spotted anyone. Is the surprising thing for me. Now, being a Centurion, I have 400 base view range with the crew skills and with optics. So, I'm covering my view range, but they do have a Centurion 7-1 who's got, unless I'm mistaken, 410 meters view range if he's got the upgraded turret. So Terenzi's been waiting in a kind of sniping position, ready, our teammates spotted an enemy, and now I'm also going to drive over there and help, because this is the kind of position you want to be in, hold down, keep the gun working, it's not got the fastest rate of fire or the best DPM, but it's a reliable gun, you've got the armour to bounce, and you've got the penetration and gun handling to deal with most things, so the damage racks up, not quickly, but reliably in Centurions. Driving over, it's a heavy tank, a WZ-1114, so he's higher tier than me, and I do bounce his first shot. And now he's about to get overwhelmed, and it turns out, he came all the way over here to this heavy tank, and there's no one else over here. T-29 goes for the ram, which I absolutely love, highly respect it. And now that we finished him, it's time to start moving, because what I'm doing is I'm waiting until I'm unspotted, one for artillery and two in case there's any TDs looking over here. Um, and then, I don't want to be stuck over here, not doing anything. So see, as long as my sixth sense isn't going off, I'm going to keep moving forward whilst trying to find a safe way through. I don't. I want to make sure that when I'm moving, if I do get spotted, I can duck in the cover somewhere. So trying to use these little hills and ridges. And apart from that 1-4, you're going to say, none of them have been spotted yet, none of us have been shot at yet, there's no one else over here. King Tiger spotted all the way across the map in the corner, and, uh, spoiler alert, basically the entire rest of their team is in that line down there, basically where our team is, just those two, the three, um, box grids down at the bottom of the map. So I feel a bit sorry for the 1-4, because his team didn't come over with him, but to be fair, he should have seen that his team weren't going with him, and just not gone over there. We've got over this before, it can be hard not to do, you want to move to certain locations, but if your team doesn't go, it's not worth it. He'd have got himself more damage if he'd stayed with his team. Even if he would have lost the game, he would have got more damage, but for XP, for Marks of Excellence, for Silver, is just better. Anyway, getting a couple shots in when I can. Type 4 Heavy is in front of me, so I have loaded the premium. Thankfully, I can't pen the Type 4 Heavy with my premium. If it was a Type 5, it'd be a bit different. Even with premium, I'd struggle to pan him frontally. 
Do get a nice little, another little blind shot in. And time to move in a bit more. Again, watch where I'm going because I don't want to kill myself, it'd be embarrassing. And I'm actually going to load the standard rounds back again. The premium rounds are just really mostly for the Type 4 Heavy, if I'm honest. And we'll see who else is over here if I need to load in again. Now, I've gotten to another ridge line here, which is where this tank absolutely shines. There are two artillery, though. Again, I said at the start, hold down or not, that artillery's going to hurt if it hits me. Terrible shot by me. Artillery just misses. And you're going to see I'm going to ignore the... Um, Ferdinand to try and kill artillery, because that's just what you do. If you see artillery, ignore everything else. <laughs> Trying to get the overmatch shot on the STRV, and then I'm not even sure if my thing, Centurion, can overmatch him, because I think I've got like a 83 or 88 millimeter kind of equivalent gun. Um, I'm not quite too sure of the British calibers, but I think it's less than 90 mil anyway. So I might not even be able to overmatch him, depending on which STRV that is, if it's the premium one or the taxi one. Relocating around the other side, and you're going to see, I'm, I can't quite get enough gun depression to shoot over without exposing myself, but my turret, again, is holding up strong. That's what this tank is all about, the turret. Now, I do get pinned in the side turret by the Ferdinands, I'm aiming at the Type 4. Um, now I'm looking at the Ferdinand, going to jump up, he hits my gun, I absorb the shot. And so far you've seen the only damage I've taken has been the side of my turret. And I've been bouncing some pretty hefty guns here. Ferdinand, the STRV thing is pretty nuts penetration. These aren't small guns I'm dealing with. And then as I said, you get the extra armor, but you've still got the 400 meters view range. You've still got the good accuracy. You've got the improved upper hull armor on the upper plate. This tank is just brilliant. Now... I'm trying to find more people, and see, I'm still worried of the artillery, because I don't know where he's at. Well, I don't know where he's at, but what I mean is, like, I wanted to get the kill on him, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to. Because, you know, everyone wants to kill artillery. <laughs> but I don't want to move forward, because, you see, enemies are pushing. I want to try and support um, Terenzi, who's just gotten another kill. And just say, thankfully, go back to help him, but I don't need it. He sorts out himself, which is good. Now, it's a Centurion 7 1 and artillery. And the Centurion 7 1 is spotted going towards our base. Uh, and I'm going to start going on the chase after him. Now, in a moment, one of our teammates is going to ping the enemy base like he wants us to cap. It's 6v1 after the artillery dies. Technically, 4v1 if you don't want to count artillery. I've got lots of hit points, I feel confident dealing with 7-1 with teammates, including Terenzi. Like, there's no point in capping. Yeah, it takes a bit more time. I am confident in the fact we will not lose for going after him. So I'm not going to cap. Um, the other thing is as well is that, I want to mention, I won a giveaway recently where I got the Swedish Centurion, the STRV um, thing, from Swindle Stream. But the gift was actually courtesy of Turkey Tanks. Um tanks that he can give away. I'm very much looking forward to that. I've already said at the beginning of this video, I love Centurions, I'm a bit biased towards them, and I've always wanted that one because it um, it gets APCR as standard with faster shell velocity, and I highly rate shell velocity as a stat in this game. It is just, it's not essential to have a good game, but it's, just, it's a very nice thing to have when you do have it. So, it might be a while before I can actually afford the equipment on that because I've got so many tanks that I've not played yet because I haven't been able to put equipment on them. But at some point, I will have the Swedish Centurion for you. Going in. Now, I just want to say I'm very disappointed in myself here. Normally, I would just race in there and ram them. And the other thing is, he's using the small gun, which gives him more DPM than if he used the big one. But either way, Terenzi gets to kill. And it's really a good game for both of us, especially Terenzi. Because Terenzi's going to get MVP, I came second, and Terenzi, I think it's 2,159 base XP, which is very nice indeed, and was definitely an ace. Now, we both did over 3,000 damage, I also did over 3,000 assistance, uh, but I only got one kill, so not much on XP, so only a first class. Block 2,800 damage, I made a decent profit of 200k. Terenzi got five kills with his, so got lots of XP, and I think he got close to the third mark here, he didn't get it with me, but I hope he's got it by now. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.